Hi everybody, it's Karen here from toughnesscolor.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I came across this snow globe uh, in a stationer's when I was uh, out to buy something else and uh, it just wanted to come home with me. So uh, I bought it, it was very inexpensive, it was about £2 and uh, I decided that I needed to make a box for it. So this is the box that I've made. Let me just pop my unicorn inside and that tucks in there like that and there it is. So uh, I'm not going to show you how the snow globe was made because quite honestly I don't know but I am going to show you how I made the box. So uh, stay with me and we'll give it a go. And here are the supplies that I'm going to be using today. I've got a piece of Bundle of Love DSP and uh, it's uh, eight and a half by seven and a quarter. I've got some uh, the powder pink shimmering ribbon, which is absolutely gorgeous. I've got a scrap of very vanilla for stamping on. I'm going to use uh, a good day and uh, I think I'm probably going to use Hello Friend or maybe Here's to a Good Day. I haven't decided yet. I have Versamark uh, ink and embossing powder. Um, this is my mixed up embossing powder that I made by accident. But of course you could use gold or silver or whatever you happen to have. And I'm going to use my Lots of Labels Framelets. And I think it's that size is the one that I'm going to be using. And possibly that one as well. Uh, so those are the main things that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to begin by scoring my card on the long side at 2 inches, 4 inches, 6 inches and 8 inches. And I'm working on the side that is uh, Blushing Bride and Very Vanilla, not the side that's got the foiling on it because lovely as it is, I think I want to have the pink on the outside. Okay, so now I'm turning my card over and I am scoring it at two inches from that side, four and three quarters of an inch, and then finally at uh, six and three quarters. Right, so that's my scoring done. And so working on the long side, I just roughly burnish those folds so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So on one side I have, where's it gone? Here it is. It's my skinny fold. Okay. So this is going to be my top edge, the edge with the, the flap. Uh, this is going to be the bottom. So I'm going to do some trimming here. So I'm going to trim my flaps and I'm going to trim little skinny pieces away. And I'm just going to do two at once because it's quicker that way. And I can't believe that it's taken me all of these years to realize that if I fold and cut along the fold, it's half as much work as it is snipping in twice to every flap. Okay. Right. So I don't need this little skinny bit down here. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I don't need this skinny bit here. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. my home folder and let's burnish things a little bit so you can see what we're doing looks like so much easier and you can see what you're doing and if I'm sounding a bit uh, hilarious it's because I've got a week off work <laughs> the day job that is I've got more time to, to craft and to play. Okay, so let's have a look at how I want this to be. So this is going to be, um, yeah, so this is going to be the front. So 
I'm going to snip away all the way down to the base there. And I'm going to cut this off at about halfway, about an inch. Okay. So this one I'm going to leave alone. But the next one I'm going to do the same as I did to this one. I'll just chop that piece away. And this one I'm going to cut off at the fold. So I'm left with this sort of shape. Now I'm going to trim this flap a little bit as well, just to make it a little bit easier to fold the flaps in. And definitely along there, and definitely along there. And I'm going to trim these pieces as well. Now normally when you make a box, this would be um, the front and it would be a flap from this side that would come forward but because there isn't an awful lot of room in here and this front panel is going to be open you know you can be able to see through it um, there wouldn't really be enough room to bring it forward and uh, for the flap to come come down without showing so that's why I've done it this way it seems a little bit back to front but trust me there is method in my madness okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut out my aperture in the front of my little box. This is the die that I'm using, so I'm going to center it into the middle of my what's going to be my box front, and I'm going to take this over to the big shot and cut it out. And here it is with the aperture cut out. I could leave it as it is and just go ahead and as assemble my box but I am going to do a couple of uh, a couple of extra things to it now what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of acetate into that panel there so I've got my window sheet and I've trimmed a piece that is just under two inches and just under two and three quarters of an inch and I've put tear and tape there's little spots of it, actually. Glue dots would probably have been better, but uh, you know me and glue dots. And as you can see, I've been a little bit forward thinking and I've gone ahead and I've put um, some tear and tape where I'm going to need it. And I'm going to pop this into the middle of that front panel. And that's going to do two things for me. Um, the first thing is that it's going to protect my my little gift and stop bits of dust and uh, goodness knows what getting in there with it. And the other thing that it's going to do is it's going to give that front panel some strength because we've taken quite a bit of uh, card uh, paper. This is kind of somewhere in between the two. Um, we've taken a lot of material away from there and that is going to make it, um, that, that, that's going to weaken it. So we're going to put some of the strength back. And I'm going to do one more thing, which is to take my little half inch circle punch. And I'm just going to snip out a semicircle out of the back there. And that's just going to make it easier for me to take the, to take the flap in and out. So I can now assemble my box. So just take off the... Uh, the protective strip from my tear and tape and now for the base I've already put the tear and tape onto that front panel so this is the way it goes it goes that one in that one in that one in and then that one in the backing off to the tear and tape and push it down and if you want to make sure that it's 
well stuck, get something like your, your bone folder or a knitting needle or something like that and just make sure that that is nice and secure. So here is my, my little unicorn snow globe which I'm going to pop inside there. Close my top flaps. This bit tucks in at the back and there it, there it is. A nice little gift box. My stamp is mounted up on my clear block. I got my piece of very vanilla. I got my stamping buddy. So I'm gonna dust my piece of very vanilla. And I've got my well-loved Versamark ink pad. I have two more Versamark ink pads. But uh, this is the one that seems to get used. I don't know why it's the favorite. It just is. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp that down towards the bottom of my piece of card because I'm going to trim that off in a minute. Okay. So uh, doesn't look like there's anything much there but we will soon find out when we apply the embossing powder. With my tray. There we go. And that's that's taken the uh, the powder quite nicely. So next thing is my heat gun. Uh, I'm going to have it on the. Oops, why is that sticking out? I'm going to have it on the high speed, and it's going to get noisy. So I turn. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to uh, trim that off. Do you know what? I think I will use a craft knife. A ruler rather than my usual trick of using a scissors and getting it all wrong. So you note that I have put a cutting pad down before I start because uh, I have in the past cut through my silicone mat and uh, yeah I wasn't happy about it. <laughs> I had to be careful how I used it after that okay. So put the safety guard back on the blade, put the blade away. I've trimmed this right down because there isn't an awful lot of space at the uh, top and bottom of my aperture and I don't really want to cover it up because it is so pretty. So uh, what I've decided to do is I've decided I'm going to put that across there like a little banner and I'm going to use glue dots to do that. So. And a little bit of this is going to be a little bit by eye actually. So I'm going to put one about there. Come on, glue dot. Play nice. I don't want to chop off any of that sentiment either. And one around right about here. Turn the box over. I could take the, uh, the snow globe out of there, it would make my life a little bit easier, but whoops! <laughs> there we are, it took itself out. Okay! <laughs> so, uh, yes, so if you're going to turn the box upside down, make sure you've, you've taped up the lid. Right. So, right now, uh, when I started off, uh, I cut a length of this ribbon because I was thinking that I would tie a bow with it and then pop that in the corner you know when I got my bow pretty there you are I'm just going to put that there but I'm not not so sure about it now, what do you think? Yeah, I don't think that's quite, it isn't quite the right colour because this is blushing bright and I think this is powder pink um, and uh, it's not quite the right colour so uh, bear with me, um, I'm going to go and get a piece of something else. So here we are, I've cut a piece of the, uh, the one eighth of an inch gold ribbon and this is going to be retiring um, 
but any sort of any sort of narrow trim that you've got that would work well with this I would say go ahead and use it let's have a look how that looks so it's, let's just twiddle my bow as you do yes I think that'll, that'll do me so just to trim off the the excess ends the bits I don't want and I have the glue dots handy there we go. I'll pop that on the opposite corner to balance that and uh, do you know what I think we're nearly done I'm going to add one of the gold faceted gems to the centre of my bow and see how I like that. I'm just going to tug that end a little bit just to even it up. And uh, now, do I want a couple of these? Now, these are the. Um, I don't know what we're. I can't remember what we're calling them, but they are little dew drops. With, no, and I think, no, we're not going to use those. We're going to leave it there. And there it is, my finished little box with my little unicorn snow globe uh, sitting safe inside. Uh, and uh, yeah, that is it for today. Uh, thank you very much for staying with me. Do come back and see me again soon, won't you? But for now, bye bye.